So we're here at my favourite stadium in the whole world, the Stadium of Light. My friends from the club are letting me and Glenn go on the pitch today and create some education videos, some of our content that we, that we create for Instagram, YouTube, uh, that sort of thing. So I'm really excited to be back here at the Stadium of Light. It's been a long time. <laughs> Tell you what though, right? I boxed, I had 106 fights in my life, right? I wish I could have played football. You get paid way more money than I got. They'd be set for life. I'd be set for life now if I was as good at football as I was at boxing. But I wasn't. So I had to get punched in the head for a living. How about that? Wow. Absolutely amazing. It is. I remember when, after the Olympics, they brought me out here to, and they announced my name. God, I feel like I'm getting a lump in my throat now. I feel like I want to cry. I really do. They announced my name and they, and they said, like, uh, introduced us to everyone and everyone was cheering. I'm feeling pretty emotional right now. I think you came back at a burger van, is that right, around the corner? Yes, so that's, I'm glad you mentioned that, I forgot about that. So yeah, I, I even had a, a catering trailer when I was, when I was training for the Olympics. I had to earn money, I was an amateur sport, you're not making any money. So yeah, I had a catering trailer outside of the stadium of light, selling burgers. People used to come and say, oh, how's it going Tony and all that, and all that. And uh, yeah, and, from, from, from the burger van days to, to now, it's, it's just unbelievable, you know? All part of this, the story, the journey. Uh, but yeah, I, lo I loved that burger van. The food was kind of crap. Chips were cold, but it, I made enough money to, to be able to live and to be able to train. I'm proud of that, I really am. Being a, a regular lad from Sunderland to now living in Los Angeles, doing well out there, uh, it's, you know, when I come back to LA, to, to Sunderland right now, it's like, wow. You know, I, it makes us realise how far I've come in, in my life. That's why I'm getting emotional now, you know. Coming out here <laughs> to, to all these thousands of people. Being from where, where I'm from when I was young to now. It's just... Amazing. <laughs> Subscribe to the podcast and tell everyone that it's the best podcast you've ever heard as well. You won't be lying. What the fuck's that mic, mate? Look at that mic. Look at Glenn's oh, microphone. Your phone needs dusting, on <laughs> it? Dust me, camera. <laughs> I've just made one of the biggest announcements on Twitter in Sunderland Football Club history, and here it is. Manager, well, I guess the secret's out. I've been offered the job as the Sunderland Football Club manager, and I've accepted. So I guess within the next two years, we'll be back on the premise. So that's my announcement. I've just put on Twitter like 10 minutes ago. And now we're getting some replies. You're probably better than Jack Ross. Really? Nah, this has got to be a joke. Robbie's as, as, Robbie as an assistant, heard that. Is there any truth in that? <laughs> Are you having a laugh, mate? Question mark. Yeah, I'm having a laugh. <laughs> I'm having a laugh, yeah. <laughs>